All right, so. Uh, that's embarrassing. Well, hello. So I have a cool thing to show you today. I just bought a Blues Junior. It's the tweed one. And it's got the special Jensen speaker in it or whatever. I don't actually like it that much. But I wanted to show you a demonstration to do on these Blues Juniors that are really easy. It's just changing the speaker and it changes it quite dramatically. It's probably the least expensive modification you could do to turn a very small sounding amp into a little bit bigger sounding amp. Besides an EQ pedal. Just check out the last week's vlog for that. And uh, so yeah, I'm gonna mic up this amp, play through just a normal, like this is a Maxon OD808, and show you what it sounds like through each of the different speakers, and how like the speaker really kind of changes, not only, it changes the sound of course, but also changes the way overdrive, distortion, that sort of thing. How it actually interacts and sounds as well. Uh, probably more dramatic, I think it's a little more dramatic than the clean tone, so let's check it out. Okay. So I'm playing a Whitfield Telecaster. Uh, but, nope, that's not right. It's a Whitfield Stratocaster, rather. Uh, the EQ on the Fender Blues Junior is pretty much straight up. I have the volume at about noonish, and then a master about nine o'clock, like on three or something. And then, uh, like I said, the pedal I'm going through is the OD808, which is just a really cool, really cool tube screamer type circuit that I, I really dig the max on. I like it as far as the two singer thing goes. Uh, mics I'm using is a 57 and Nimexo ribbon. I forget which one. It's not an expensive one. And it's just right off the cone or just kind of offset a little bit, but pretty much right on the cone. A clean tone, I'll do a bridge and a neck as well. On my bridge. Oh, -ho, that was rough. Nice and chimey, which to me, I think it's a little too bright. Rather than pulling the amp apart and doing a bunch of modifications, I always recommend the first thing to do with these amps is pull the speaker out and try a different speaker. So we're gonna go through a couple of my favorite ones from WGS speakers, used to be Warehouse. Let, let me hit the overdrive first. On the stock speaker, sounds like this. Bridge first. <laughs> You may be thinking, why don't you just tweak the EQ on the amp? The problem with these particular amps is, like, there's not a whole lot of wiggle room. You just don't do that much. So, let me turn the bass all the way up. Bass all the way up. Little better. Turn it back to noon. So let me turn the treble all the way down. I mean, you do have a little bit of variance in there. Got it on about nine o'clock now. <laughs> Turn my trill back to noon, mids all the way down. Mm -hmm. 
just don't dig it. I don't dig it that much. So I'm gonna keep everything at noon just for consistency's sake. Once again, uh, hit the overdrive on. <laughs> On the neck. That's the stock speaker. Let's switch to a different speaker. Okay, so now I have switched to a WGS Veteran 30. Kind of similar to a Celestion 30, but I actually like the Veteran 30 a little bit more. And uh, you'll notice it's in the 112 cabinet instead of putting it in the actual Blues Junior cabinet. The reason for that is because to pull the speaker out, you have to, you know, undo all the bolts and then take the chassis out, being very careful with the tubes, being careful not to shock yourself. And then you pull the speaker out, put a new speaker in, put the new chassis in. It's kind of a pain in the ass, to be honest with you. So I, what I do, I have like a bunch of the same cabinets, all the same size, they're all pine, just a bunch of WGS speakers in them. I like to do it this way because it's basically the same thing. The clean tone on the bridge sounds like this. On the neck. Kick on some overdrive. Is the veteran 30 let's go to the next one and we're back and now we're on an et65 actually really like this speaker like it a lot for like dirt stuff amps i'm going to use a lot of dirt in sounds good so uh bridge like i said same controls controls are still the same on the blues junior i haven't touched it just changing the speaker et65 on the bridge Neck. And with an overdrive. On the neck. Alright, so I'm going to switch to a different cabinet and I'm going to tune because I went out of tune. All right, and now we're using the British lead from still WGS speaker uh, with the Blues Junior still. And here's my clean tone on this gorgeous, lovely Whitfield Stratocaster. I love this thing. Anyways, so clean tone. And on the neck. Kick the overdrive on, on the bridge. Kick 
it over the neck. That is the British lead, and on to... Yep, I got one more. Whoa, I got one more after I fix that mic. Okay, so I am running through a Green Beret, not the Army type of guy, but the speaker that's like a greenback, but better, I think. And anyways, my clean tone on the bridge sounds like a this. On the neck. Got a little bit of overdrive on the bridge. on the neck And I lied, I'm actually going to show you one more speaker, a very special speaker, near and dear to my heart. And it would be called, I think it's called the Black and Blue from WGS. And it is an Alnico, or Alnico, Alnico. In Indiana, we say Alnico. Okay, so now I am on the Black and Blue. I think that's what it's called. It's a Alnico speaker, at least in Martinsville, Indiana, in here, Midwest Indiana, Alnico. And uh, on the bridge, clean tone. Sounds like this. Put it on the neck. Sounds like this. Put a little overdrive on the bridge. Sounds like this. And we flip it over to the neck and this sounds like this. And that is the Alnico. And uh, one more trick. So check this out. Last resort type of deal. And you just, uh, like like I said, I don't really care for that amp that much. It's just, it sounds, it sounds too boxy to me. Not a big fan of it without some serious modifications to the circuit. So I put an EQ into it at the very end. And it kind of gives this sort of sound. So with it off. with it on. Now, you'll notice it most drastically when you put an overdrive on with it. So, just the overdrive, no EQ. And 
Now, let me turn the EQ on. And a cool trick when if you're going to use like an EQ at the end of that, and I have it, I'll have it, I have it a little bit scooped here. Uh, when you want to do, when you're doing a cut through for like a solo, just kick it off. <laughs> You know, you're back to your old boxy self. Couple different tricks you can use with pedals, couple different speaker situations and selections you can use. And these are just a few that I had that I use a lot for different things. There's a bazillion different types of speakers out there. So, uh, you know, they're like anywhere from what, 60 US dollars to like $200 or something. So, actually, there's probably more expensive ones than that. But, anyways, it's a good way to just uh, get different tones without doing like any sort of electronic modifications. An EQ pedal always comes in extremely handy if you need, uh, you know, a change of tone. You don't really want to buy a new amp or you just need it for a song or something like that. It's a very good thing to have in your arsenal and on your pedal board. So. All right, so there you have it. Those are some ways to uh, make a Blues Junior sound better. The different speaker suggestions and eat some EQ stuff in there. Lots of cool things you can do with just about any amp to make it sound better. So hope to help you. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you leave them below. If you're not subscribed, you gotta subscribe, dude. I mean, come on, like I got goats to feed and stuff, you know? So make sure you subscribe, and uh, we'll see you guys next week. Have a good one.